Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about AMC Entertainment, ticket symbol AMC. So we are at 5016. Tomorrow we have the market opening. And you know, we are looking like to be going into a big week. There's a multiple reasons for this. Firstly, because of the amount of shares that is being shorted, the shares that are borrowed, but also the amount of options activity that is happening for next week. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at the options activity, you know, the technical analysis and other factors. And then we're gonna talk about, you know, how we're gonna be looking at a lot of price action next week and possibly, you know, a big price movement next week. So. In this video, if you guys found it useful or enjoyed it, feel free to click that like button down below. It costs you guys nothing, but help get this video spread out to the whole community. Also click that subscribe button so you never miss our video. On that, let's get straight into the video. And so, you know, before we kind of go into the technical analysis right now, let's look at some of the stats and you know why I want to talk about how it could lead to a big movement. So firstly, if we look at the shares available to borrow, we are looking at 250,000 shares available to borrow. 250,000 shares is actually not a lot. You know, every time when it came to a Friday when I made these videos, um, during the weekend, we saw the shares available to borrow at 1 million, at 1.2, you know, sometimes even 2 million. And so this is the first time in quite a while now where during the weekend, we have it seen at such a low number. Um, you know, what does that mean? What does that imply? Well, firstly, like I said, guys, when people buy shares over the weekend, it means that they are confident in their shares. And the same applies for when people shorting shares of the weekend, they are confident in shorting their shares. So this week, we saw the price end in the green. We obviously see the price end up, you know, 3.38% up for the day and at 50.16. But we also see this number of shares available to borrow to go down, meaning a lot of people are also confident in holding their short positions over the next week. And so firstly, this indicates a lot to us right now. Both sides are extremely confident, whether it's the apes, so us, the buyers, whether it's shorts, the hedge funds. And, you know, right now, both sides are very confident. We have a lot of things going on next week where if we go down here and we look at the options activity, we look at the expiry date for the 17th of September, you know, we're already at 180,000 calls in the money. We have 12,000 puts um, in the money and we have 256,000 along with 399,000. So, you know, we have a lot of options activity going into next week. And so, you know, this all just indicate a lot of things is going to happen next week, or at least it's indicating and it's suggesting this. And so, you know, next week, there's going to be a heavy battle between the buyers and the shorters. And, you know, this is possibly the first week where we saw obviously the Friday end off in sort of a um, uncertain. What I mean by that was obviously buyers had control however the sellers tried to take over in the last few um kind of session and you know this is indicating the kind of the momentum and the effect we're going to have next week and you know the only ever time where we saw a candle, candle similar to this was um the first ever week where we ended in green or at least for the first um you know starting week of this five consecutive weeks and we started there but there's a big difference here over here, when we saw it kind of like this, where the buyers had control, but then the seller tried to take in, was when we're sitting above a support. And so obviously, the sellers tried to get us below the support. You know, that was their initiative. That was their goal. However, right here, we are, you know, we are way above that previous spot. This spot, we've been trying to fight control for a very long time, you know, where you could say, um, so here, 40 days, but we, we could even argue a bit longer. But now we're actually, you know, I don't, I want to say 48.27, I want to say 48.50 is a support, but rather kind of right now we're fighting over this resistance. At least for me, the 52.03 area, I want to, I want to um, clarify this, that I don't think 52.03 is a strict line. I do think maybe a lot of volume is built around that um, area, but I think, you know, if we kind of give a take, we could say 51.70 um, to 52.40. This is just a rough number I'm giving off the top of my head right now, but you know, that will be the area, but we are approaching a resistance level. And you know, right now, before it was the sellers trying to take us above our support, but now it's that the sellers trying to prevent us from taking their support. And so, you know, this whole table have turned now. Like I said, guys, again, for those of you who didn't understand that, it's before it was they were trying to take our support, now we're trying to take their support. Because, you know, a support like this acts as our support, but it acts as their resistance. But when you look at it, when the stock is going up, the resistance is their support and the resistance is obviously our resistance. And so the table I've turned and we're trying to beat their resistance. And so they're bringing us down. They're trying to resist against us. They're trying to sell against us. And so that's what we're facing right now. But, you know, this could obviously mean a lot of things. So next week is, a, in my opinion, is a big deciding factor. The reason for that is because if we go above 52.03, firstly, 
you know, if we look at some of the data, like I said, even on Stone Cold Tracker, where we had a lot of, well, we have a lot of options next week. Even if we go down here, we can see that the short percentage has increased to 51.5. You know, if we look at autics over here, right now, our current short interest is at 94.88 million, where the current shares on loan is 114.38 million. Now, you know, like everyone said, autics may not be precise to the fact, so we may even be seeing our 100 million for shares over here. Current um, estimated short interest is 18.55%. But, you know, what I want to talk about is the fact, if you guys, um, you know, recall here, you guys can even see it here. When we made, first made our high for AMC, we then consolidated really in this area of around 52.03 to 63.74. We consolidated in this range. And so this is quite a significant range. If we, if it means we're back in here, we're likely to look at that kind of um, consolidation again, where it's the 52.03 to 63.74. That consolidation is key because that's the sort of consolidation we need to see in order for our next step to break above it, in order for our next step to make new high. And so, you know, that's what I'm saying, guys. We have a lot going on right now. We obviously want to see the price end back into that consolidation range. That is our next kind of small target. Obviously, our big target would to break this the high of um, 72.62, obviously breaking that high and go even higher. Like I said, guys, my personal price target, and this is not the squeeze price target. This is my what I think our next step should be in order to get ever so close to that MOAS. It's the $300 price mark. Now, you know, the price... The short target could go all the way to five thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars or even more and so don't get me wrong when i'm saying three hundred dollar price target right now what i'm saying by three hundred dollar price target is the next price we need to go in order for us to get closer to the moais to the squeeze and so i want to clarify that very clearly but you know and you know next week i'm saying we could possibly hit that 300 because again like i said guys we have a lot of things happening next week and obviously with the amount of options that are um, available next week again like i said here uh, with the amount of options that are available next week, you know, we could first be looking at a gamma squeeze. And now, why would a gamma, gamma squeeze benefit us? Well, the gamma squeeze will obviously increase the share price. And, you know, like I said, guys, um, for those of you who have watched my previous video, I talked about how a certain hedge fund is already starting to lose their money. You know, AMC was once their biggest earner, but now it's going to be one of the biggest loser. And it will come to the point where when the gamma squeeze happen, that will obviously increase the share price of AMC. And when it does increase the share price of AMC, we'll then see, you know, hedge funds such as that, the, the particular hedge fund that I mentioned in my previous video, start to cover their positions. We'll also see other hedge funds to cover their positions as well. And that, it wouldn't be the short squeeze because not all of the positions, you know, we know there are millions and millions and millions of shares out there right now. But that is kind of the beginning of, um, you know, companies and firms trying to cover their shorts. And so that's, again, guys, I'm, I want to clarify how important it is next week. And, you know, a lot of people will be watching. So I'll definitely be making uh, a lot of videos next week. So you guys got to stay tuned to that. And I'll be explaining, possibly trying to get a live stream started for next week. But, you know, next week, it's going to be a momentum. However, this is only true if we go above the 5203. You know, like I said, guys, the headphones are trying their best right now to keep us below that 5203. But, you know, what we need to do is go above that 5203. So again, we're going to be seeing a lot of resistance. Um, that's going to be very normal. That's going to be um, kind of the normal thing to see. But I think end of the day, the apes will beat it. Because firstly, like I said, again, where we have a Monday where we end um, in the green. So that's obviously good. Obviously, we were met with some seller pressure. But normally, when we end in the green on a Friday, we have that momentum coming in on the following Monday. We also have, um, you know, the breakout coming in. Um, so another technical momentum as well. We then have, you know, the potential gamma squeeze coming in. We also have, uh, you know, hedge funds possibly starting to cover some, not all, um, but, you know, some of the hedge funds, a lot of short positions that shorted down here will start covering. So I'm not, and I'm not talking about the firms and the hedge funds here, but, you know, a lot of people, when they saw AMC down at this area, they obviously thought it was the end of AMC. They thought AMC was going to go back to that $3 mark, which is absolutely ridiculous. But, you know, a lot of people obviously thought that. And so they had their own short positions. But we're going to see as the price go up here now, you know, people who shorted it down here, you know, they're, they're roughly around a 40% loss or maybe even more. But the, the ones that shorted down here will start covering um, up here as well. So we have a lot of pretty much a lot of momentum that is coming in for AMC to bring the price of AMC up. So that's what we got to stay tuned for. And, you know, pretty much maybe even FOMO buying happening next week where people obviously see AMC going higher and higher. So start going to buy in. But our next big objective is, is to stay above that 5203. But, you know, again, guys, we are ever so close to that squeeze. You know, we are really, you know, t winning the battle now, whether it's short term and or long term. And so this is extremely important and extremely good to see. 
Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys think about EMC and comment down below what you guys want to see next. On that, enjoy your day.